Today is the National Day of Prayer, and while we may not be able to gather for the typical events, I want us to focus on joining together in prayer. See, over the last few years, I've come to see the importance of prayer in the life of a church more clearly. And not only that, but the role it should play in the life of every believer. See, many times we treat prayer as a wish list, a a box to be checked off in our faith, or the last resort to get what we want. See, however, we, we should truly see prayer for what it is, a privilege that we have to communicate with our Father in heaven through Jesus Christ the Son in the Spirit who he sent. It's a way to confess who God is, to offer thanksgiving, to intercede for others and, and present our requests. And at this moment, it is what the church should be doing. Praying for wisdom for our leaders, guidance for those who are searching for a cure, patience for us, salvation for the lost, and ways to glorify God every day. We can pray anywhere, anytime, and we need to be encouraging one another to do so. Listen to what Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. It's time for the church to make prayer a priority in all things. We need to join together as the body of Christ and begin to pray as one for God to be made known. We need to pray for God to strengthen us to speak the truth of Jesus. We we need to pray for the church to faithfully represent Christ to a world that doesn't want him. We need to know that, that we are not alone in these prayers. So I ask you today to lift all things up in prayer. Set some time aside and ask others to pray with you. Share your requests with one another. Let someone know what you're praying for. Let's take seriously the discipline of prayer in the life of every believer. No, we can't be together to pray today, but we can pray knowing that we are not doing it alone. I encourage you to share a prayer with us or your favorite scripture on prayer below in the comments to encourage community among the church today.